What's up, my friends? Taking a trip to the LFS, the Coral Reef. I haven't been here in a good five years. And uh, from what I hear, this store has been uh, stepping it up. We're going to take a look inside and check it out and see what it's all about. And hopefully I can go home with a few frags. For Pico Yeah. What's up, Javier? Hey, how's it going, Mike? You got uh, this Javier. He has his own YouTube channel. What are you doing out here at the Coral Reef? Picking up some water for water changes and taking an A-can. Beautiful piece. Which uh, A-can are you going to get? I took one of the red A-cans, which are rare here in El Paso. I'm getting lucky with that one. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick up some frags today, too. It's Alan. Right hey, here. Going? Let me come into the shop here and record. It's really nice. Really nice. Man. Lots of nice pieces. I was really impressed on the skimmer. We'll find out a little bit more about it from one of the uh, employees, Alan. And uh, I really like that it says R2-D2. I thought it was a cool touch to this monster skimmer hooked up. We'll find out a little bit more about their system. But as far as the livestock goes, I was tempted between livestock and coral. And it was kind of really a hard decision because there was lots of candy everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna, after we do this interview, we're gonna go ahead and look at some of the candy. So one of those devices that I could spend a little bit of money, so I got the blue ones. Uh, so this is Alan here from uh, the Coral Reef. Just yeah, the, going, the store looks, looks amazing. I was telling uh, some of my buddies on YouTube that even though we're in the middle of the desert in El Paso, I mean, we're lucky to have some awesome shops. And I for sure say the Coral Reef is one of them through all the footage that you guys saw from yourselves. Um, so so when did you uh, start working? So I started working here six months ago. And I, um, I had just recently stopped I came back to school. Okay. I used to, I used to work offshore. I was an I was a I'm a I have a degree in biology. I have a bachelor's in biology, and I started my master's here in the UTEP. Gave a master's in geophysics, so I started working here in last December. And Daniel pretty much just gave me the option of just doing revamping the store and just doing all the modifications to the store and the vision that we me me and my brothers had, and we just started going from there and everything. Was, Started to come along pretty nicely. So obviously you have some experience in salt water. Yeah. Um, what kind of tank do you have at home, or? Yeah. So um, I've been doing this for nine years now. Okay. And I have I, my first tank was a 75 gallon, and then I upgraded to a 300 gallon. Oh wow. I tore it down, and then I stopped because of course I finished school. I was working. Now I'm building a 250 gallon cube. Oh sweet. And yeah. um, that's sump down there. I don't know if you can. Yeah. That, that's my sump. Okay. That's, that's a 60 gallon sump. And that's from, from Synergy. Synergy oh. Reef. Oh, nice. And that's going to be for my tank at home. Okay. Because I was wondering, I was like, are they going to tie this in to the system? Because uh, I saw this all these UVs, which is, first of all, I love that you guys have UV hooked up to your, your fish because that helps out a lot of us who don't have UVs, you know. Yeah, exactly. So here we take good pride in actually keeping all the parasites and all the ick. Because when we, we pride ourselves in having everything healthy. You know, like if you go home and something dies or something gets sick, like it's it's a failure on us, uh -huh. you know. It's it be much better if you guys can take something, come to our store and know that you're getting something or, or goods that are actually healthy and we've kept them for a while. Just kind of monitor them without no ick, no parasites or something anything like that and that's one thing that i noticed when i was recording i didn't see any dead fish you know you go to pet code there's dead fish you go even to the some of the lfs's you know i know you're they get busy but you still see dead fish yeah and yeah and that's exactly why we have two days off because that's what exactly what we do we monitor our fish 
we do our maintenance. I know we, we could be open every day of the every day of the week, but I think having Sunday and Monday to actually do our maintenance around the store, do our checkups, do our all our water water quality checkups actually helps a, a lot to offer a better product than a lot of the stores around town. That's awesome. And I saw I got the Star Wars thing right here. This is pretty awesome. The R two D two skimmer. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so um, I think we, because these systems used to be separate systems. They used to be separate systems, but I, I told, I advised Daniel and I told him like we need to upgrade because we need to supplement because we have a lot of waste. There's so many fish in the systems, so we need to overload the system with a big skimmer. So we went with the skimmer and it's made by MRC. Okay. It's a 4860 MRC. And this one is the capacity is for 4,000 gallons. Oh, yeah. yeah. And right now we're just running 1,000 gallons on it right now. But the reason is because it's the heavy bio load on all the fish. So. It, is, is that just tied up to the, the fish system or is this display? So this this system right here is only to, for all the fishes. That's all awesome. fish systems. Yeah, every single coral has their own system because of course if anything happens, if there's an infection or is there any parasites in the water, we're able to manage, monitor this one system instead of having them all tied together. So if one of them gets sick, you can pretty much know that all of them are gonna get sick. So we just take good care of everything just so we can monitor, have everything under control. That's what that's what we like here at the program. Uh, this is my first time back in a good five years. And uh, I gotta say, you guys stepped it up. You know, really, really had a good time just recording your stuff and looking at your frags. Had an LPS. We had acros, um, softies, we had zoas. I love the zoas. I'm a zoa guy. And uh, this is a great store. The fish are nice and fat. Uh, awesome. Awesome store. So I'm going to pick up a few frags here from the coral reef today. And uh, I already picked up some zoas. I'm going to keep looking for some more. I, I'm going to get that lepto over there. I don't know if I, sh I showed it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this big one right here that's in Christine. That one's fifty bucks, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll take that one. It's uh, awesome. Um, keep looking. And here, even this system right here is running the trigger system, right? Yeah. Trigger system sump, yes. bubble magus. Yes. This is great. Shut off the flow. Oh, and I finally found some of these candy canes, the purple ones with the green eyes. I have these. I have a ton of those, but let me let me get one of those too. I finally found it. All over the place. Yeah, so here we try to reach, we're expanding our collection of everything right now. We're trying to look for more exotics and we're trying to bring colonies so we can actually frag so yeah. everybody can take home. So we're going to have we're going to have little frags. Fifteen dollars a piece, and we'll start moving them up. Yeah. And then we'll have the if somebody wants to come here and spend more than just fifteen dollars, we'll have the colonies in the back. That's my buddy D. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you know D. Yeah, yeah. He, His D, tank. Yeah. 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 He's he's one of our biggest customers on um, SPS. Yeah. He comes here pretty every yeah. week and just buys a colony. Yep. So shout out to D. You guys know who D is. <laughs> and uh, I gotta see what my total is because my wife said I could spend fifty bucks. Of our money, and she doesn't know that I have a secret stash, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some more. Anyway, she doesn't watch my videos, so I can I can say that. Well, I'm gonna cut this here, and then uh, thanks again. I uh, really appreciate you letting us come down here, and I know you're busy here, and it's, it's an awesome shop. And well, thank you, and just let your viewers know to stop by. We're yep. open from one to seven, from Tuesday to Friday. And then 11 to 6 on Saturday. So, one more thing. Um, so, the hours are... The hours, right? It's not like... Yeah, it's back to normal. Okay, yeah, awesome. It's, now it's uh, three of us. So okay. We pretty much have a lot of hands on deck. So. so, there you go, man. Come down to the Coral Reef. Won't be disappointed. It won't be a wasted drive. And if you're in the El Paso area, for sure, check out the shop. All right. So, here at the Coral Reef, we have a point system. So, every dollar you spend, you get a point. It'll be 200 points, you get a $10 gift card. And then on purchases of $75 and up, you get a $25 reef, 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 reef dollar gift card. And that's applicable for
for any fifty dollar purchase in the future. You come here, make get a fifty dollar purchase. It's twenty five dollars. Nice. Using that gift card. And then on your birthday, you get a twenty dollar gift card. Really? Yes. Wow, amazing. There it is. So this is awesome. I'll be, I'll be back. Like I said, El Paso is really lucky. We're in the middle of the desert, but we got some awesome shops. I hope you enjoyed the interview with Alan. Really cool guy. Let's take a look at the candy in the shops. Uh, one thing that I noticed right away is that the uh, frag tanks were all pretty clean. Um, that's what I like. I like the store stepping it up, and they have like a nice selection. I'll be back here more, especially with that point system. I ended up spending a good hour here at the LFS. I was looking around at all the corals, all the sticks, um, whatever you were into, they had. My buddy Pelfrey, also a YouTuber, uh, always has to drive pretty far just to get to an LFS. He has to order online, and uh, which is crazy because I'm here in El Paso. We are a desert in the desert, and I'm hooked up with LFSs. I can go to an LFS less than 20 minutes away, and uh, I'm pretty blessed. Um, these LFS right here, are they're stepping it up. You know, the coral reef is looking really good. Great selection, fair prices. And uh, as you can see, the inside of it is pretty hooked up. Uh, nice orange sticking out, and I liked it. I had a good time. The shop itself is shaped like an L and uh, lots of frag tanks all over the place and they had two big display tanks and one of the walls had a projector on it with uh, video footage. Um, lots of lights, lots of frags and uh, everything just pretty cool. It's a nice chill uh, climate. Um, I was just checking out some of the fish in the display tank and I assume probably later on they'll have it more stocked up. Now I took a lot of video of the coral reef um, because I enjoy watching your guys' videos of LFS. is probably one of my favorite uh, to watch because um, just to see what you guys got going on in your area, how the reef stores do it, where you're from, and uh, go from there. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and shoot some video of your LFS and I'd like to check that out too. For example, Jake from Reef Builders, when he went to Australia, he was showing us all the coral farms, all the LFSs, how the uh, Aussie reefers do it. Well, this is for you Aussie reefers. This is how the U.S. reefers do it. The U.S. reefers, uh, you know, they sell live rock way by the pound. And they uh, we have tubs and scales to go. I don't know if you guys do it the same way. Um, it's usually about $5 a pound. Five dollars, four dollars a pound here in the U.S. and uh, a lot of people just use dry rock, but uh, I think the benefits are in both live rock and dry rock. For those of the uh, people that like the full colonies, they got some right here. I'm more of a frag person because I like uh, getting the small pieces at affordable prices and then just grow them out to become colonies. I think it's a lot more fun like that for me, but uh, I know some of you got just have the money to buy the colonies like this one piece right here is freaking nice uh, you can see the greens the purples and it has some pinks in it um, I think that's a pretty expensive piece right there because it said uh, ask but somebody will end up snatching it up eventually um, the other pieces right here are looking great um, I'm into LPS I'm into SPS I'm really into the Zoas and um, I thought about buying some of these uh, blue sympodiums and uh, things like that. I just want to get like as a much as coral as I can, but nice coral, and then just cram it into my 180. Um, I'm also, also part of the reason why I'm getting a frag tank, so that way if I'm running out of room, I could just put it in the frag tank. Um, I saw a nice piece of this frag over there in a, one of the other frag tanks that they had. And hopefully if they still have it, I'll be back to get some more. When I first saw the Euphilia tank, I ended up looking for some gold uh, torch because that's what I'm after. I really want to get a nice gold torch with the purple tips on it. Um, but they didn't have it. I'll be back though. Hopefully they'll get it. Um, I was also looking at the walls, wall hammers. Um, Paul had a really nice one when I checked out his 90 gallon, but he ended up selling it. When he broke it down, 
But I was looking for another piece because that would also be a nice addition to add to my tank. I took so much footage of this store because they didn't just have the plain Jane uh, everyday corals that we see usually. Um, they had some nice stuff. And some of the things that I'm really into, if you guys haven't noticed already, are chalices. They had some nice chalices, watermelon chalice. Uh, not too expensive either. Um, I've seen watermelon go for 100 bucks i picked up that jack-o-lantern right there nice and crusted onto the frag plug they had another one right next to it and uh this sucker is just looking nice uh 50 bucks i picked that up for um here's another jack-o-lantern right next to it had tons of chalices i'm and i can't wait to see what else they add to their tank um a cool thing is that i follow them on instagram so usually when they post a nice pic i can see what they got and they also have the option where you can go ahead and buy it through Facebook. So you could buy it through Facebook. They could ship it to you. But since I'm local, I just pick it up and uh, buy it. Um, but they had a lot of nice little different frags. And pretty much whatever you're into, they had. So uh, it was like a kid in a candy store. You know, that's what I call coral candy. And uh, I got a few nice pieces today. And I'll most definitely be back, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoying this video. I uh, had a lot of fun making it. Uh, and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and next time I come, uh, either it's going to be like a mixture of coral, candy, and also of uh, fish because they had a few fish that I wanted to get. Um, I almost got some firefish that they had in the, their tanks. Uh, the only reason I didn't is because I still have the yellow eye cold tang in my uh, 20 gallon and uh, I want to move my yellow eye cold tang into a the 180 very soon and then once I move the yellow eye cold tang from my 20 gallon to the 180 then I'll probably start picking up some uh, other fish like firefish and maybe a couple of blue green chromis add them to the 180 and I think I'll be done for fish except once I set up my 40 gallon I'm going to probably look for some maroon clownfish, add them to that, and probably be done with that. Now, when I was almost out of there, I start, decided to go ahead and do some top-down shots of the Euphilia Garden. And uh, almost, I think next time I might also be looking at Euphilias to add. Um, just like, I think they're awesome. They grow pretty fast, and uh, they add a little bit of movement to your tank. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Acros one more time. The Acro tank is actually powered by some Radions. These are the uh, small Radions and they lit up the tank pretty good. Um, I was looking at the Acros. I'm starting to get into, you know, SPS a little bit. And uh, I might probably pick some up next time from here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at them and then check out this Radion. Those of you who have Radions, this is the new... Uh, generation radion with that they kind of uh, spread out a little bit different I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and let you check it out but uh, they really are pretty nice right here so after my visit from the uh, LFS the coral reef um, I was pretty surprised because I didn't notice that he uh, bagged up all my corals in a specimen cup usually you get it like this uh, once you uh, order online but, uh, hey, man, you know what? They, I'm telling you, they stepped it up. I was pleasantly surprised by this. Um, I would have been okay with just a bag. But I uh, got the VIP treatment right here. And uh, I'm pretty sure they do this for all their customers. And here it goes. I got them all in a specimen cup. So uh, big shout out to them. Uh, if you're in the area, for sure, check them out. Got four, four uh, frags. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, dip them acclimate them and put them in the tank when i dip my corals i use the good old coral rx let me know what you guys are using um i've been using it for years no issues and uh, i'm going to go ahead and dip these guys then get these corals acclimated to my tank by using the good old drip line um, the way that i use to get that drip started is with the turkey baster the suction from it and go from there Anyways, guys, hope you guys had a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Special shout out to the Coral Reef for stepping it up. And uh, you guys have a good one. 
Take it easy and take care.